Hello all, in today's step-by-step -step blueprint tutorial, I will show you how to create a physics-enabled lamp that will swing when it is hit by your character. Let's jump in. In our content drawer, let's create a new blueprint of type actor, and let's call this BP underscore swinging lamp. Let's open it up. In our content drawer, let's right click, create a new blueprint of type actor, and call this BP underscore swinging lamp. I'll open it up. Now, first, I will create a series of components. I will add in the top left a cone. I will add Another cone, I will duplicate that. I will add a cylinder. I will add a cable. I will add a spotlight. And I will add a physics constraint. So these are the core elements of our blueprint. Let's rename some of these. I'll call the first cone lamp. I'll call the second cone uh, attachment point. I'll call this uh, lamp cylinder. And the others don't need names. So first, what we're going to do is we are going to drag our lamp down about 200 meters. We're going to drag this around and allow the sort of connection point to be where we hang the lamp from. So attachment point is going to be that. So I'll drag my lamp cylinder down and I'm gonna change my snap to let's say 10. I'm gonna select my lamp and I want the proportions of this to be a little bit different. So I'm going to make this maybe one by one by 0.75. And then I'll change this to be 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. So this will basically be a point for the lamp to attach to. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our cable and we're going to attach it to our attachment point up here. Actually, first, let's rotate this into position. So I selected my attachment point. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And let's make this 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So this is going to be the point, or maybe we'll do 0 0.4. Okay. Now let's attach our cable to our attachment point. And Let's attach our spotlight to our lamp. It's actually this guy. And then we're also going to attach our lamp cylinder to our lamp. So I'm gonna select my spotlight. I'm gonna hit zero up here in the location. I'm gonna change the scale of this as well. And then we're going to rotate this downwards. And so in this situation, our spotlight will actually shine through because of the way this material works. It's not a two-sided material. So it'll shine right through this. So now I'm gonna select my cable and we're going to edit some of the details for the cable. It already has attach start and attach end set to true. So I need to set the attach end to component name. So it's going to be attached to lamp. So I'm on my cable, going to type lamp for the component name. I'm going to zero out the end location. I'm going to change the cable length to 150. And I'm going to compile. When I do that, we can see that now my cable has stretched downwards. 
and I want it to be attached more towards the top, sort of in this area. So if I go to my end location in the cable, if I sort of nudge this upwards by adding an increase in the Z value here, we can move that up forward in space to where I want it. And now let's add some values to our physics constraint. We can, for the most part, leave this um, as is. We're not going to make this perfect today. But if you want it to be a maybe higher fidelity cable, if we change number of sides to something like eight, um, it's going to make it a rounder cable. Compile and I'll save. And now let's go to our physics constraint. So I'll select my physics constraint. And here we also need to add some of these values. We want to constrain between two points. So where it says component name one, I'll call this attachment point. And you'll see that it's automatically drawn a bounding box around my attachment point component. And now I will attachment point. The second component will be called lamp. Let's draw in a second bounding box. And a few more things. So right now it has our locked uh, X and Y and Z uh, motion. And we don't want that. So we're going to change these to limited. And we'll write 250. And so this is basically the freedom of motion that it will have uh, from the endpoint. So then we also want to allow it to have some sort of angular swing. So I'm going to set my swing one and two motion to be limited instead of free so that we can set angles, so max angles of swing. And then also we don't really want the objects in relationship to each other to twist too much. So I'm going to set a twist limit of one. And I'm going to leave the swing one and two limits of 45 just so that it's not really swinging like crazy. It's not getting out of control. And let's compile and save. And we'll see how this works. So in my environment, I'm going to pull out my blueprint. And we can see that it starts in the ground because that is where I set my pivot. So I'm going to move it up. And I'll sort of hang it from my rafter right here. And I'm going to alt drag with my left mouse to duplicate these. And I think we're expecting that it should drop a little bit because of what the cable length is. Actually, we need to first go to our lamp and set simulate physics to true. Compile, we'll save. Now we'll see it drop. So it's a little bit too long right now. We'll uh, we'll tighten up the cord, and we're actually also going to increase the mass of the lamp, so we can start to see them swinging. Though, so this is a good initial test. All right, so we'll go to our swinging lamp. For the lamp itself, what we want to do is search mass, and it has created a default mass based on the scale of the object. So let's set this to two hundred fifty compile. And then let's make the cable. Um, actually, let's let's change the constraint. So let's make the constraint. Um, the limit of the length will be 150. So let's see how that looks. So I'll hit play. And now we can see it's dropped to a more reasonable limit. So now I'll run into this, we can see that it's a little bit more weight to that. So it has a better, you know, still a little a little light, but um, we can allow it to swing, they'll sort of knock back and forth on each other, and it's going to cast a shadow of the swinging lamp. I'll allow you guys to tinker with the sort of physics elements of the cable, but I hope you enjoyed today's video, and stay tuned for more Unreal Engine 5 content. Thanks all.